Welcome everyone to the Ecotrope and Funwood webinar. Our topic today is stop overspending and underspecking, finding the sweet spot between cost and performance. I'm Adam Newman, Head of Business Development here at Ecotrope, and with me this morning is Bob Wiedemann, President and Owner of Sunwood Development Corporation. Bob, I'm going to hand things over to you to discuss how you've stopped overspending and underspecking. And Ecotrope has allowed us to start to really look at um, how we evaluate products individually, uh, how we look at the combination of products that we put into our house, and that's probably the most important thing is incorporating all the different combinations in a way that's both cost-effective from an initial standpoint, that's obviously most important to a production builder, um, but also the operational perspective for the end user as well. And we certainly don't want to be building a house that's not energy efficient. Uh, we want to be building a house uh, as efficient as possible and, and cost competitive with the marketplace. And this has really allowed us to evaluate our homes and with very little and sometimes less money than we were paying before, building a, a better, tighter house, higher efficiency, lower cost to operate. And this was really helpful for us. Ecotrope, uh, and this doesn't, I don't want this to sound like an advertisement, but it's one of the key things that I think is important about working with Ecotrope is they do not work for a manufacturer. They're not working for a utility company. So the recommendations that we get from Ecotrope are unbiased. They're in our best interest. They're in the best interest of our clients. And I think that's a, a big benefit for, for us to have a third party review um, how we're building our houses and give us some really good information. Uh, as the screens just scroll through, this is uh, an actual result of one of our houses that we're getting ready to start a new subdivision. And we asked them to evaluate our first model home that we're just getting ready to start construction on now. And we gave them the parameters uh, of what our standard specs are likely to be, the baseline house, which is the green star that's shown on this screen. And as you can see, our house was, we were doing a pretty good job of building our houses uh, from a cost standpoint, pretty good. Um, from an energy efficiency, there was certainly room for improvement. And the goal on this screen is always to be as far down the screen and as far to the left as you can from a cost standpoint and an energy efficiency standpoint. So again, we're on the left, fairly close to the left side, so our costs we were doing really pretty well uh, on, but uh, we could do better on the energy efficiency. A couple of things that, I mean, this is showing, let's see, 1,500 and change different combinations. Obviously, there's no way we could have been doing this um, evaluation manually or in our office with a small operation that we have. It would be nearly impossible. So by plugging these various combinations in, we were able to evaluate a whole bunch of different combinations. And what we worked with Adam on is picking out a few key features that really seem to make the majority of the difference, and those are uh, all represented as red stars. If you look just a little bit below the baseline, there's a red star that says uh, heat pump water heater option or upgrade. And that was a really great, uh, it's a small change. Obviously, our base house, I should back up, our base house was a strictly propane house. Everything in the house was propane heat, hot water. Um, and when we looked at going to just a heat pump, we were talking about a cost of maybe $250 up front. And that was going to have an annual savings. Thank you, Adam, for jumping to that next screen. We'll back up maybe to that screen later. But the cost of that was a $250 upgrade, and the energy efficiency savings were going to be $390 a year. So in seven months, we've paid back that water heater upgrade. So that was just a real simple thing to do and cost us next to nothing and really you know, a great benefit for our customers. If we can jump back to the other screen, Adam, for a second. Um, you can see some other options we looked at. Um, um, I should start with, if you look up the top left, the IEC 2009 code. We're building almost to the 2012 code now, even though our code in Connecticut is still 2009. They're behind this, the curve a little bit on upgrading their codes. But we wanted to start this subdivision knowing that the code would likely get changed before we finish this project, and we didn't want to have to change our specifications halfway through. If you look a little bit further down, we went to an all-electric 
upgrade option, which would be an electric heat pump, heating and cooling system, and the water heater option. And you can see how our costs went up slightly, um, but our energy efficient, efficiency went uh, down as well, or, or I'm sorry, went up as well. And, uh, and that was just a really nice thing. If we can go to that next slide again, Adam, we can look at some of those numbers. And our estimated cost on that is $1,800. And so, again, not a terribly huge amount of money to spend to improve the energy efficiency. The annual savings on those two changes added up to about $1,600. So you can see that the payback is just slightly over a year. Uh, and we're, we're intending, actually, to offer this as an option, as in many places, electric heat is not something that I would have normally considered. I would have thought of that as being an expensive way to heat and cool your home. And when we looked at these numbers, we realized that it's not a big expense, that the energy efficiency of the heat pump systems now are getting so much better, they can work at a much lower temperature, um, that, that it was just a, a big benefit for us to do this. Without e Ecotrope, we never would have thought to go through this process and, and make this change. So in this particular case, our intention is to offer this as an op upgrade and option, uh, we're going to charge about $3,600 for it, so we have a 50% markup, which uh, nobody's going to sneeze at that. It's a great value for our homeowners. The payback will still be uh, approximately two years, which is, is just incredible, and that will obviously continue to pay dividends well into the future. So those are just two of the, the simple things we looked at. If we can jump back one more time, Adam, uh, I'd just like to touch on two other things. We looked at a geothermal option, and... Although the energy savings were uh, slightly better, the cost difference just we really couldn't justify that. But the nice thing is if we have a buyer that comes in that wants that, we can show them instantly what that savings will be, what the added costs are, and then they can make a decision whether or not they want to go that route. But we've kind of decided at this point that geothermal on this particular project does not make economic sense. The, uh, the last thing we looked at is whether a solar PV upgrade would be sensible. And obviously, you can really drive your energy costs down, uh, but at the same time, you increase your costs significantly to get that done. So we've decided at this point to offer that as an option, um, that we would not make that a standard feature. You get your HERS rating, which I, I wasn't, haven't touched on yet, but at the top of this uh, screen now, you can see how our HERS rating changed a little bit. And one interesting thing, if you notice the all-electric upgrade, actually the HERS rating goes up slightly, even though the energy efficiency of the house uh, continues to get better. And that's just a little fluke in the way the HERS ratings are calculated. But you can see how you can really get your HERS rating way down with a solar option. But you probably need to find someone that was really either committed to the environment, really want to just have really low utility costs, or had some other motivation for doing that. Um, and, and so that's a, a nice feature. We actually did sell our first PV system this year on another development that we had not done before, and it was through the help of Ecotrope that we were able to work through the process with the home buyer and explain the differences and benefits and come up with the proper sizing of the, the unit to, to install on that particular house. So this is our, our first attempt at that, and that's with the help of Ecotrope. Um, so that's kind of the, the basics of, of what we've done in our particular project that we're working on now. This is just sort of an overview of our baseline house on the left-hand column there, showing that we're using a 13-seer air conditioning unit, a Goodman uh, propane uh, furnace, and a Ream propane water heater. Again, going up to the next level upgrade, which is going to cost us $250, uh, the GeoSpring heat pump system uh, to save, save something on the water heating side, and then the next upgrade being the all-electric Upgrade our cost again is 1,800, uh, increasing the SEER rating to 14 on the heat pump, and again staying with the GeoSpring heat pump system for the water heating. And then the far right column showing the uh, adding of the uh, PV array on the on the uh, on the roof. So those are some of the things that we looked at here. Again, um, without Ecotrope doing these evaluations, there's no way we could have really evaluated all the different combinations and chosen which ones really made sense. And they're able to help us really narrow those 1,500 down, uh, options down to just a few that, that we want to kind of evaluate and look at. So 
that's all I'm going to talk about on our particular project that we have undergoing now. Just to, to kind of in wrapping up, one of the things I really like uh, about this whole system is that we can evaluate new products as they become available, whether you see them at the IBS, the Home Builders Show, uh, every year, or a local vendor comes in and has a new product that they tell you is wonderful, it sounds great, but there's really no way to know um, if the claims that they're making are really true and if they're as good as they say they can they can be. Uh, we've had Ecotrope do evaluations on different product, and again, you're getting third-party perspective on these upgrades, and you can determine really quickly whether or not it makes sense to make a change and not just take the word of a, a vendor, supplier, or someone like that that maybe has some other motives for you to, to use their product. And the other nice thing about the Ecotrope system is we're calculating all these costs and savings based on our own costs, not national or regional averages. Uh, when we're doing our comparisons, it's actually what our plumber is going to charge us to install this water heater or our H HVAC contractor is going to charge to go from a propane system to an all-electric system. So these have their markups in them. All their prices are in there, and we're able to really see where our savings are going to be so we can decide ourselves if it makes sense. The other and the last thing I'll leave you with is that the cost can be uh, varied by location. So if you're in a, in a town or a municipality that has low utility rates or higher utility rates or natural gas is available versus propane, they can plug all these different utility options in, the actual cost of those utilities, any available tax credits that might be available, especially when you get into the solar PV type systems and some of those things where you're getting rebates or if you're trying to build the Energy Star, what kind of tax credits might be available either to you or the end user. And there's a real big savings there, and they can calculate all those various combinations, and you can determine if, in fact, it makes sense to make a particular change or not. And with that, out, I think I'm going to turn it back to you. Um, certainly, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them today. Uh, I think at the end of this slide, there's going to be a screen with my phone number and email, and I'm perfectly willing to talk to anyone after this uh, webinar is over about any details and our experience and how we've used it and, and benefits and that sort of thing. So with that, I'll be quiet and let you talk. Adam? Great. Bob, thank you so much. Again, just to remind all of the viewers that if you have any questions that you'd like to ask Bob today, you can submit those at info at ecotrope.com. Uh, Bob, we actually did have a couple questions that I wanted to, to ask you now and get your response to so that the audience can hear. Um, one of the questions was, is how are your customers responding uh, to this type of information when you're sharing with them, uh, for instance, on that solar home that you were just mentioning? That, that's a great question. One of the things that we've really been working with Ecotrope on, and I think it's, a, it's an ongoing process, quite honestly, is how do we market these added features? You know, and part of it is explaining to people that it is third party, that there's, there's no strong benefit for us to do one or the other, that if we suggest going to an all-electric upgrade, in the instance I was just talking to you about, that it makes economic sense for the end user, that there's really not a motivation for us to push that particular product or for Ecotrope to push a particular product. And we are working on how to get that out to the marketplace and show and prove that our homes are better than the other houses that are out there in the marketplace. And that's an ongoing thing with anyone trying to build high efficiency um, or green houses that, you know, what are, what are the benefits to the homeowner? So it's something that's ongoing that we're working on marketing and trying to break this down as simply as we can be. Sometimes you can become overwhelmed with too much data and not really know uh, what you can trust and what you can believe. But Ecotrope's really been helping us a lot with, with showing the, the true facts in that area. Great. Uh, another question that we had had um, that came in was, how does profit play into these options? I know you mentioned that slightly before, but how do you sort of look at these options based on a profit and a business standpoint and also with the, uh, you know, sort of the justification side of what payback should be for your homeowners? You know, when you chose those designs that we have highlighted before, you know, how do you, how do you look at those based on a profit business aspect? Yeah, another good question. The, the numbers I had talked about, I mean, I kind of touched a little bit on our markup or proposed markup on the all-electric upgrade, but even on the, on the water heater option, we can plug in 
our number of our costs, in this case $250, or we can put in our marked up price of, say, $400 or $500 for that option and have Ecotrope run the calculations and the payback time frame for those options with the increased profit in there. So we'll see what the homeowner's true uh, return on investment is uh, based on their, their actual cost, not our cost. And so, obviously, we're not looking to spend more money building houses and making less money on it. That would obviously make no sense at all. But this allows us to evaluate them based on the end user's cost and making sure that the options that we're suggesting or deciding to include as standard features occasionally make economic sense. And we can do all sorts of what ifs. We can add some insulation in one area and change uh, something else on the, on the mechanical side or vice versa. And you can really look at, at all the combinations and, again, look at them, whether you want to look at it at your cost or your customer's cost and come up with those figures. Great. Uh, one more question for you, for you, Bob, that's come in just recently is, um, are, are you doing the selling or do you have salespeople um, that are doing it and how well trained and sort of what is their knowledge base of sort of this marketing area? Yeah. We, in, our, in our particular business, we have a combination of in-house salespeople that do most of our custom homes and remodeling business. Most of our subdivisions that we're building in our own communities, we have realtor representation. So there is an education process to get them on board to make sure they understand it, that they can explain it, again, in simple terms so that the consumers can understand it. We're working on some handouts that we can deliver to the consumer so they can actually go home and sit down and, and kind of review it on their own and uh, and look at it that way. But but there is definitely an education process that has to be made in order to, to make all these things make sense to the consumer. Great. Um, well, what I'll do then, Bob, is just move into some additional information about Ecotropes and background on sort of how this technology came to be so that those in the audience who are interested and want to learn more, they certainly can. And then we'll end with, um, as you had mentioned before, some more information on how folks can contact you if they're interested or, or us here at Ecotrope. So thanks, Bob. Really appreciate that. Yep. Thank you, Adam. Um, so, Ecotrope, we're actually a MIT-based company. Uh, we're a cloud-based service company located in Cambridge, Mass, but uh, we certainly do uh, all types of projects all over the country. Um, our technology was originally developed for NASA, and we have been adapting that to the home building industry. Uh, we are a nationally accredited HERS rating software. We have Energy Star compliance as well as IECC performance certified in 06 through 2015 code. Um, we do, as I mentioned, a variety of different types of, and sizes of builders. Um, you know, Sunwood uh, is obviously one of, of many of the different clients that we have. Um, and just to wrap up before we say goodbye today, um, you can reach Bob or me um, at our email addresses or our phone numbers, whichever is easiest if anybody would like to follow up. And with that, I think we're going to end a little bit early today. Um, I think we didn't have any additional questions at this point, but again, please feel free to contact us if anybody would like to follow up and ask any additional questions. We'd be more than happy to answer them. So thank you all today. Really appreciate you coming by the webinar. and learning about how we can stop overspending and underspecking, really finding that sweet spot between cost and performance. Bob, again, thank you so much for your time, and thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day, everyone.